Hata nyinyi here in the port my friends we are monitoring and we are watching eh tunajua ile pesa mlikuwa mnataka kutumia kule na ile tumetumia it may have been a premonition or an informed warning by president uhuru kenyatta two months ago but it appears kpa boss daniel manduku is a man in hot soup for allegedly authorizing irregular expenditures totaling to 2.73 billion shillings in three projects including makongeni goodshed yard concrete works manufacture of barriers and the kisumu port revitalization project Detectives at the DCI believe that Manduku and others may have breached procurement procedures. An investigation filed by the Economic and Commercial Crimes Unit of the DCI, seen by Citizen TV, suggests that Manduku oversaw the preparation of bills of quantity for eight farms without requisition form from the user. The inland container depot in Nairobi for the Makongeni Goodshed Yard project. Manduku, the general manager in charge of operations William Ruto, senior works official Anthony Mohanji, works officer Juma Chigulu and principal works officer Bernard Nyobange are being investigated for allegedly colluding to divide the 2100 square meters yard belonging to Kenya Railways into nine zones and awarding eight contractors the concrete work. The split termed and procedural with the aim of avoiding open and competitive tendering process it is believed to have cost the taxpayer some 506 million shillings the investigations reveal that the companies were paid in full despite not completing the job as Kenya Railways reclaimed its land and demolished the concrete In the Kisumu port revitalization project 800 million shillings was shared by seven companies despite the works having been projected to cost 100 million shillings investigators say a top official at KPA was pushing for the seven companies to be awarded the tenders procurement regulations were breached detectives revealing that documents were forged to sanitize the project Records recovered from the KPA finance department show how the loot was shared. Ponoma Construction Company pocketed 205 million shillings, Rico Contractors bagged 108 million shillings, while 129 million shillings went to Associated Electricals. UAF agencies took home 163 million shillings while Stone Contractors pocketed 128 million shillings. Chuda Engineering Limited was paid 35 million shillings and Kite Technicals Limited is said to have taken home 33 million shillings according to the investigation report seen by Citizen TV. Those probed here including managing director Manduku Matthews Amutu who heads the Port Electrical Works project manager William Tenai Azad Zengo head of procurement Ali Munjaka principal procurement officer civil technician Tom Okeo and directors of Stone Contractors Company investigators believe that Manduku directed 1.4 billion shillings tender for the construction of 17940 concrete barriers to be awarded to 10 companies without the procurement regulations followed Two senior KPA officials told investigators that there was no need for concrete barriers even then the barriers were grossly overpriced from about 10,000 Kenya shillings a piece to 79,000 Kenya shillings a piece those on the spot include KPA MD Daniel Manduku senior works officer Anthony Mohanji and works officer Juma Chilugu KPA managing director Manduku dismissed the allegations as an act of intimidation by people he called tender interests insisting that the allegations are not genuine Hassan Mugambi Citizen TV